All right, y'all, time for the skinny. And, of course, we've got to start with uh, Kim and Kanye West, their baby. We have a name. Now, you all know it wasn't going to be something like Jane or Mary, right? Yeah, that much we knew. So, but this might be, you know, according to the birth certificate from Cedar sinai Hospital, the first name is North. North. Yes, and the last name is? West. Put it together and you get? North. Northwest. West. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I think about it. Um, I, I, it's a little different, but, you know, it's, it's nice enough. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah. What do you think? I, I think they may change it. I mean, you certainly have the right to change it. And I think this is just to get us talking, and then maybe they're going to reveal the real thing down the line. Interesting. Do they have a nickname picked out for North? Like <laughs> maybe. Northy oh, Nori, right? Nori, is supposed right? to be the nickname. Kind of sounds like a storm, like a Northeaster or something. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. North. I don't think anybody picked that in Las Vegas. The, uh, <laughs> no, the, the odds, odds makers. makers. Very good point. All right. Let's talk about Jennifer Garner and uh, her marriage to Ben Affleck. And mm -hmm. apparently it all stems or revolves around the Red Sox. Jennifer Garner said her marriage to Ben Affleck wouldn't have happened without the Red Sox World Series victory back in 2004. She says basically, if they hadn't won that year, I don't think I'd be married with three kids. She told that to the USA Today on Wednesday. She says, because I think it would have been considered, I would have been considered a jinx. Boston fans are so serious about their superstitions. They really think they can actually control what they do by wearing a certain shirt or where they sit, the whole thing. So Garner and Affleck, of course, married in 2005, and she is now a big Red Sox fan as well. Apparently she can recite the entire lineup. And who knows, if the Red Sox did not break the curse... They might not be married, and they might not have three kids. I can so relate to that. I, I can just see that really. Be, that's real. And maybe tonight with the Miami Heat winning, there's some blossoming relationships that are uh, now going to go the next step. I wouldn't step. be surprised. <laughs> a lot of champagne flowing down there. <laughs> Something might happen afterwards. Yeah, a lot of joy. Oh, Johnny Depp. This Johnny is a good Depp. one, right? Mm. So we all know he wears those glasses. They're kind of tinted. He looks cool. Yep. But they're for a reason. Apparently, he has had very bad eyesight problems since he was born. And he says he's basically blind as a bat in his left eye. So he's now 50 years old. He wears the glasses. He can't wear corrective contacts. He's got to wear the glasses. So when he makes a movie, it's really hard for him. Because, so it's not just because yeah. he looks so cool in them. It's really, truly legit. Right. And when he was all kind of funny playing Jack Sparrow, that might have been because he says he can only see a few uh, feet in front of his face when he participates in a movie role. Kidding. Isn't it amazing Johnny Depp? He just seems to get younger. Like every, All the actors from his generation starting to look a little old, and he just looks as young and as he ever. He looks great. I do think, you know, for actors, 50 is the new I don't know what, because he's 50. We've got other 50-year-olds. Uh, I'm Tom all for Cruise, it. I'm all for uh, it. Brad Pitt, Brad I know. Brad Pitt, yeah, of course. Lucky guys. No, the women are doing pretty great, too. Absolutely. Did you see um, Johnny Depp uh, fall from that horse? It was a video we showed yesterday. He, uh, he was shooting it. a stunt for his new movie, um, Lone Ranger, and uh, he fell from a horse. He's okay, but it was really dramatic. I look forward to that. He steals every movie he's in. Let's talk about Kirstie Alley. Okay. Weight loss. She's tied to all kinds of weight loss things. Well, apparently she has settled a $130,000 lawsuit after making false claims that she lost 100 pounds from diet product alone. And this is a diet product called Organic Liaison. Kirstie Alley quietly settling that lawsuit. Um, and apparently a 62-year-old, uh, no, actually she's a 62-year-old former uh, star from Cheers. She credited this product, Organic Liaison, as the sole reason for that 100-pound weight loss. But a disgruntled customer sued her last July and claimed that the product didn't work. You know, she bought it. Part of this settlement, Kirstie Alley was ordered to pay the woman and her attorneys 130000 bucks, and that's according to the National Enquirer. The settlement agreed um, for removal of the term proven product from the website, and the company now has to issue a disclaimer explaining that Organic Liaison is a calorie-based weight loss project. So there you go. $130,000. Yeah, and interesting they went after her. I mean, it's, you know, don't blame the messenger, but beware now if you're going to endorse a product as a celebrity. You know, they hold you liable, not the makers of the product now. Absolutely. So she had to cough up $130,000. I mean, you know, these weight loss products, you really got to sort of buyer beware on those things, don't you think? Yeah. Caveat emptor, as they say. Yeah, there's always a lot of fine print. They throw it, like, during the commercial, they throw it at you anyway. But... And some of these ones are so <laughs> over-the-top silly that yeah. you just, I don't know how anybody would take them serious to begin with. I don't know much about this product, so I, I can't really speak for that. But there you go.